Introduction Human resource is the greatest of all resources as only the human beings have the capability to utilize all other resources. Earlier, the strength of a nation was judged from its population as most work was done by hands. Now, due to the progress of science and technology, machines perform most of the work for man. Therefore, nowadays, more emphasis is laid on the skills and abilities of man rather than their numbers. A large population is not always an asset, but people who have trained, skilled and creative are an asset. They know how to use natural resources to create good standard of living for themselves and for fellow human beings. Distribution of Population The entire population of the world is not evenly distributed. It is unevenly sprinkled over different parts of the world. There are certain places where large number of people live and there are some other places where very less people live. The density of population is the relationship between the total population and the total area in square kilometres. It is shown as the number of people per square kilometre. In comparison to other continents, Asia has a high density of population. On the basis of density of population, there are three markedly different areas of population. Areas of high density, moderate density and low density. Fact. The term human resources, as used in organizations, describes the workforce capacity available to devoted to achievement of their objectives. The subject has drawn upon concepts developed in industrial or organizational psychology and system theory. Overpopulation and underpopulation Areas of high density Areas of high density have favorable climatic conditions, fertile soil for the development of agriculture, and good network of transport and communication. China, Japan, the two Koreas and the Philippines in the East and countries of Indian subcontinent, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka are densely populated. These countries comprise nearly half of the total world population. The countries of Western Europe and Eastern and Central part of North America is also densely populated as they have achieved high level of industrialization and is able to support a large production. Areas of moderate density Mining, industrialization and improved infrastructure have made these areas attractive for people to settle. The moderately populated areas are Central USA, Southern Russia, Ukraine, South Africa, Central China, Argentina, coastal parts of South America, Central America and Southeast Australia. The Deccan Plateau in India is also a moderately populated area. Areas of low density Areas having very low density are the rough and rugged lands and high mountainous areas. They have harsh climatic conditions, that is, either very hot or very cold or too wet or too dry and therefore they are not favourable for habitation. Hot deserts such as the Sahara, the Kalahari Desert, the Arabian Desert and the Great Australian Desert are all sparsely populated areas. The Arctic region in the north and the Antarctica in the south, Greenland, the thickly forested areas of the Amazon Basin in South America and the Congo Basin in Africa are also sparsely populated areas. Factors Influencing Distribution of Population In this world, there are vast variations in climate, surface features, soil, vegetation, etc. This diversity is reflected in a great difference in the distribution of population. 
no single factor can ever control population distribution all the factors work in combination to control distribution of population following are the factors which affect the distribution of population relief is the most important factor affecting distribution of population because people always prefer plains rather than mountains and plateau as most of the productive activities can easily be carried out on plains it is evident from the fact that about 90% of the world's population inhabits land although plains occupy only about half of the world's land surface fertility of soil is another important factor as they are the support base for agriculture ganga brahmaputra delta nile delta in egypt huang ho in china etc always attract large human settlements this is the reason why river valleys are called the cradles of human civilization climate is another important factor affecting distribution of population those regions which are very hot or very cold or either too wet or too dry are usually avoided by the people this is the reason why the equatorial region of africa the polar regions of russia canada and antarctica the arctic region and the region of ladakh in kashmir is very sparsely populated on the other hand a moderate or a mild climate attracts people to settle down in a region the temperate regions of the world and subtropical areas are densely populated availability of resources also attract people to an area because more opportunities of employment are available there some regions are rich in minerals like the diamond mines of south africa and the oil fields in the middle east the discovery of minerals in these parts of the world have attracted large chunk of human population impact of population change overpopulation population growth and economic development are intimately related all those countries which are still developing have a high growth rate high growth rate has its impact on food supplies many african countries are suffering because of shortage of food it is due to this deficiency of food that people in some parts of africa are malnourished moreover a high growth rate of population creates scarcity of residential houses rents of land and houses become very high as a result poor people are forced to live in slums which have limited amenities of drinking water electricity and drainage this leads to the spread of diseases thereby adversely affecting the health of slum dwellers inadequate facilities of education and health services lack of employment etc lead to an increase in many social crimes increase in population creates a heavy demand on natural resources like forests which begin to deplete very fast water supply also becomes a problem due to high growth rate of population this leads to the problem of insanitation and hence causes spread of diseases under population sometimes known as depopulation population decline is the reduction over time in a region's population the decline can be caused by several factors including sub replacement fertility along with limited immigration heavy emigration disease famine and war history is replete with many examples of large scale depopulations many wars for example have been accompanied by significant depopulations before the 20th century population decline was mostly observed due to disease starvation or emigration the black death in europe the arrival of old world diseases to the americas the sesay fly invasion of the water bug massive in south africa and the great irish famine all caused sizable population declines 
a number of nations today stretching from north asia japan through eastern europe including ukraine belarus moldova estonia latvia lithuania bulgaria georgia armenia and into central and western europe including albania bosnia croatia serbia slovenia germany hungary and now greece italy and portugal along with puerto rico in the caribbean now face long term population decline countries rapidly approaching long term population declines but currently still growing albeit slowly include spain cuba uruguay denmark finland and austria russia is also facing long term population decline although for the moment there has been a reversal due to an increased birth rate many nations in western europe and the eu as a whole today would have declining populations if it were not for international immigration the total population of the continent of europe including russia and other non eu countries peaked around the year 2000 and has been falling since 2004 a declining population regardless of the cause can also create a labor shortage which can have a number of positive and negative effects while some labor intensive sectors of the economy may be hurt if the shortage is severe enough others may adequately compensate by increased outsourcing and or automation initially the labor participation rates which are low in many countries can also be increased to temporarily reduce or delay the shortage on the positive side such a shortage increases the demand for labor which can potentially result in a reduced unemployment rate as well as higher wages